The Dodgers 50 games over 500. We've seen this before. Teams are built for the regular season, not necessarily the postseason. What is different about this Dodgers team, do you think, this year as opposed to previous years? Well, it's the deepest team in baseball. And I thought there was one flaw in this team, and that was not enough depth of starting pitching. Because remember, last year in the postseason when they lost, you know, Kenta Maeda, Julio Urias, they were out of games really early. So it didn't matter that they had this monster bullpen with six, seven options. And I think the trade for you, Darvish, really covered the last hole because now you've got lockdown starting pitchers who at least are not going to lose a game in the first four innings of the game. And I think when you look at a scenario against either the Cubs or the Nationals, now I think after the first one, assuming Kershaw comes back and, you know, he's just as good, um, they match up well against those teams. I would not have said that before. So, um, hey, listen, to me, it's the Dodgers in the field right now. They're that good. Now, they could wind up being the 0-1 Mariners, but if you look at those 0-1 Mariners, uh, they, they're starting pitching, and even their bullpen, but especially their starting pitching, was mediocre. Yeah. And you yeah. have to have good starting pitching. I know we all talk about bullpens, but look at the Cubs last year, and the Indians ran out of starting pitching in the World Series. You still need three good starting pitchers. But if you look at this Dodger team, they, they, there's always going to be a team that you don't match up well against. And, and that's why I, I cautioned Dodger fans last week when I said, I know it feels like it's your team. You're all in on, you know, it's your year. Hugh Darvish coming over. Everybody's playing well. It's just that you run into a hot pitcher. You, you run into a team that just has your number there. Is there a team that you see that, you know, could provide that scenario? Well, you know, let's say Strasburg comes back. He's fully healthy. Gio Gonzalez has had a really good year. You go Scherzer, Strasburg, Gio. You know, that may be good enough to take out the Dodgers as deep as they are because those are three guys who can take the ball to the eighth inning. They're that good. Um, I think that's probably what it will take. I do like what the Cubs have done in terms of going out and getting Quintana and uh, fortifying their bullpen with Justin Wilson. I do still think you need lefties against the Dodgers, even though they've hit them way better this year than last year. Uh, I just don't think the Cubs are good enough to take out the Dodgers. I think they're just not having the same season. There's too many holes in the lineup offensively. Uh, Dodgers are a better, deeper team than the Cubs. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.